When it comes to these curbs in Medina's public square, City Council recognizes changes need to be made. I'm Remy Murray to reveal what those plans are. Safety is the number one concern and if this would provide a safer uh, atmosphere in the square for people crossing in, in the crosswalks and the mid crosswalks, we were going to take advantage of it. City Council President John Coyne understands Medina's public square can be a very busy area for visitors and traffic. People aren't paying attention. So to keep you safe, Coyne says City Council is now seeking grant money to make improvements to hopefully install raised concrete areas known as bump outs. This is when you get to the square uh, at the intersections, they would make a raised area that goes out into the street as it exists now that give the protection for pedestrians. Now, before watching this video, we want to warn you, it may be difficult to watch just as heartbreaking it was for John McKay to get that phone call. Probably the scariest thing I've went through. Chilling surveillance footage released to News 5 from Medina Police Department in March 2024 shows the moments a car hit John McCain's nine-year-old son as the young boy made his way to school. Getting the phone call that my son had just gotten hit by a car was probably one of the hardest calls I've had. When News 5 spoke to Medina Police Chief Edward Kinney earlier this year, he told us McKay's son was the first pedestrian to be hit in 2024. But in 2023, there were six, and in 2022, there were two. One of the most notable incidents was on Smith Road near Jefferson Street in November. News 5 reported on 55-year-old Laura Schmidt, who broke nine ribs, five vertebrae, her pelvis, forehead, and nose. That driver fled the scene. Meanwhile, another incident News 5 followed happened in May 2023 when a car hit Medina parking attendant Bill Pavlik on Court Street. Pedestrians are getting struck by in the crosswalks when people are driving, and hopefully this will draw more attention to drivers. It gives me a greater sense of security. You know, I feel safe for letting my kids walk around town again. City Council is currently in the process of applying for this grant, which they hope to receive. In Medina, Remy Murray, News 5.